Coming up in ViewCast, see how Vanderbilt is getting fans pumped up to anchor down, why Vandy is seeing green, and how engineering students are driving the next big idea for the U.S. military. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. How are Vanderbilt engineering undergrads and these remote control cars leading to the next big idea for the U.S. military? ViewCast Jenny Mandeville takes us on an inventive ride. Vanderbilt undergrad Tate Travellini has a job that would make most eight-year-olds jealous. There you go. Tate is an intern at a research arm of the Vanderbilt Engineering School called the Institute for Software Integrated Systems, or ISIS. He and fellow students are developing and testing unique software for the U.S. military. To speed up the process of designing next generation ground combat vehicles. The team created a virtual design space where a new amphibious military vehicle could be built and tested on a computer. Right now it, it can take 10 to 15 years to build a military vehicle and frankly that's too long. But first they started with these radio controlled cars. <laughs> we can't actually get a Humvee down here and look at it and see all the different parts and how they you know fit together and how they all work together whereas we can you know have an RC car sit around the office. This car has four wheels it has a internal combustion engine, it has brakes. Um, it's a pretty uh, high-end RC car. The interns recreated every nut and bolt of the car as a 3D model using software created at Vanderbilt. Let's go ahead and start this simulation. It takes all these components and puts them all into one big package. And we use this package to put together our own car and test it. What I'm doing right now is 3D modeling virtually. And what I'm doing is taking the instrumentation, which is all the electronics, and I'm trying to put them into a housing to protect them. For many of the students, this is their first time working outside of their classrooms in a real engineering environment. If you look into industry, you, you know, that's a lot of what you see, is a lot of engineers from different uh, disciplines coming together to build these complex systems. With so many moving parts, communication is vital both with the other interns and with the ISIS staff. We all have to talk together to be able to create all these models and put everything together because it's not just a one-man job. It went well, it went well. I think the repair job actually went fantastic. The students have helped uh, immeasurably. They're debugging systems that you know haven't been used quite this way before and just having their new set of eyes on a problem that we can stare at for weeks or months and they can identify a new way to look at it and that in itself enables us to get to a solution that we weren't able to get to. And their virtual view of production will help lay the foundation for the next generation of military vehicles. For ViewCast, I'm Jenny Mandeville. Think you have what it takes to invent the next military fighting vehicle of the future? Now's your chance. The military is running a unique design competition tied into the engineering project you just saw. Get all the details on vehicleforge.org. The new dean of Vanderbilt's engineering school, Philippe Fauché, says real life projects like this fit perfectly with his new vision for the engineering school. Over the past 20 years, the amount of research that has been performed by corporations, mostly large corporations, has gone down dramatically to the point where corporate research labs no longer exist in many large corporations. So the question becomes, where are all those new ideas that will create new products 10, 20 years from now? Where will those new ideas come from? I think they will come from schools of engineering in the top universities like Vanderbilt. See more of our interview with Dean Fauché and hear him explain his vision for Vanderbilt Engineering on the school's new website, engineering.vanderbilt.edu. It's not easy being green. It may not be easy being green for Kermie, but Vanderbilt is on the Princeton Review's Green Honor Roll. The review measured the environmental friendliness of more than 800 institutions. Vanderbilt was one of only 21 universities to receive the highest possible score of 99. Read more on vanderbilt.edu. Search Green Honor Roll. 
It's official, Vanderbilt has met its fundraising goal and will soon be breaking ground on a new multi-purpose athletic facility. Chancellor Zeppo celebrated the news with some of the key donors and a few familiar faces at halftime during the South Carolina game. Read more on vanderbilt.edu, search multi-purpose facility. Are you ready to anchor down? Commodore football season is underway. Check out the newest promotion for the Commodore Nation. Change is gonna happen. Change is in the air. Some time it don't come easy. A game changer is only a few. You can watch a very cool longer Commodore video and buy game tickets on VUCommodores.com. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.